Hello happy youtubers, this is Marcelina and it's so great to be here with you guys For those of you who are new to this channel, don't forget to subscribe Also, always remember to hit that notification bell So you get notified right away every time I release new video There is so much to learn in this channel and I am so grateful I get the opportunity to share my agriculture knowledge with you all So what I'm going to do today is to teach you guys how to best treat mealybug infestation so you will be learning how to control mealybug by reducing its population how to prevent them from getting to your plants and how to treat them accordingly so they don't come back stay tuned treat your mealybugs effectively if you follow the steps you should be able to manage and control mealybug infestation mealybugs belong to family Pseudococcidae, found in moist swarm environment they are considered insects, but once they feed on the plant juices, they become pests. Also, they act as victors for several diseases. If you see ants crawling on the ground or crawling up the branch of the tree, this shows that your plants are at risk of mealybugs. Seeing mealybugs and ants together, this can be difficult to control because mealybugs and ants form a bond or form a symbiotic relationship. As for gardeners, this is the beginning of war. As for the ants, this is the pursuit of happiness. Yeah, right. I think I see it right, pursuit of happiness, because ants will domesticate mealybugs and hide them somewhere or elsewhere, which I'm going to show you the hidden treasure of mealybugs in the greenhouse. So keep watching. And mealybugs are protected by the ants in exchange or in return of the honeydew which mealybugs excrete and you will see this excretion in the rear end of the bugs before you do the treatment you need to do the prevention and the control management so your control management will be hosting the plants try this once every two weeks and see what will happen so blast the bugs So this is going to be sludge, white flies, spider mites, mealybugs, and aphids. So this is not just controlling the population of the pest, it is also helping your plants, especially if you forget flower, uh, watering. So it makes your plants happy and also clean because you water them, you shower them. Now let's talk with the prevention. I have two preventions that I applied in my greenhouse and I'm going to share this with you guys. Now the prevention to prevent mealybugs getting to your plant, if you buy plants online or uh, buy plants in the nursery, make sure you check those plants before you put them next to your other plants because you don't know if there is hidden pests and diseases that is found on that plant and mealybugs is like virus it spreads so fast so do your checking and uh, keep them away three days prior to, to purchase then after three days you can put them along with your other plants the other uh, prevention that i have here is the application of diatomaceous earth so this is the diatomaceous earth there is a direction in the label so make sure that you follow the direction otherwise you would not be able to treat the mealybugs effectively so this is great in controlling crawlers especially snails slugs cockroaches if you have cockroaches and fungus nuts and it kills with the diatomaceous earth because this is uh it's, it acts like it, it is a crystal a sharp crystal you don't see it but if you use your magnifying glass you can see the crystal crystallized glass and once in contact with the bugs, the bugs will die because it cuts the digestive system and they will die within 48 hours. You can apply diatomaceous earth, add with water and do your foliar spray or you can uh, apply the powder directly to the plant. So I bought this in dollar store and I placed my diatomaceous earth. So what do you do is apply the diatomaceous earth around the base of the plant and onto the leaves if there is flowering you might not apply the flower directly to the flower because you might kill the pollinator so just do on the leaves so this is going to 
kill the bugs and control mealybugs infestation. So that is the prevention. Checking the plants after purchase, quarantine within three days, and then application of detomaceous earth. And also, uh, since ants have symbiotic, symbiotic relationships with the mealybugs, before the mealybugs in, uh, get into your plants, you can also apply ants trap. Uh, Greg always used that trap. <laughs> so put a dip on the paper and in places anywhere so the ants will get into it that uh, product and that trap and then bring back to the queen and then it kills the queen so that is the best way to uh, kill the ants first because if there is no ants then you prob probably have this infestation of mealybugs although it's not just the ant brings the mealybugs you also have mealybugs by wind when there is a strong wind and also birds or other flying insects that carry the mealybugs but majority that you uh, see mealybugs infestation is uh, domesticated by the ants now here's the last treatment let me ask you this question if i show you one spray that will take care and kill the mealybugs for good would you try it and stick to it because it is not easy to find pesticide out there and I and, and believe me I been trying uh, using different pesticide long time ago and none of them satisfied me with the result and luckily I found one solution Azatec plus so try this uh, chemicals and see what will happen so apply this chemical in, in the plants and if you have aphids or any mealybugs in the crack in the uh, crevices spray directly and this is going to kill the mealybugs and it doesn't uh, harm the, the plants but I would suggest to try a patch test. Patch test is to apply one leaf and see what will happen within 24 hours. So do your testing first. But I found it when I applied here in the plants, I don't see any reactions to it. So, but again, try. <laughs> try these chemicals and see the result. Let me show you my infestation here. All right, hopefully you can see it because it's already dark. <laughs> and you might be wondering, Greg was wondering, he said like, oh my gosh, why the mealybugs is in the cord? As you can see, it's already dead because I sprayed with Asatec Plus. And the mealybugs, this is covered with mealybugs. So I told Greg that, well, the, the ants probably put that there. And then waiting until the eggs is until they have the eggs and then carry that eggs to the plant and as you can see here it used to have a lot of mealybugs here but I controlled using acetic plus and I tried uh, I I just spread like that as you can see the mealybugs are already dead so I just show you to you guys so this is how the acetic plus kill the bugs let me show you again my dessert rose this was covered with mealybugs and I treated with acetic plus this is the result as you can see the plant is recovering and it produces healthy foliage and the leaves are turning green so try acetic plus I will link this product below this video so just check the link you might like it so this is for today guys thank you for watching marcelinaplastiobeans.com see you next time peace out